Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome. Now, today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this rather lovely 1965 VW T2 split screen that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of engine starting and idling action at the uh, beginning of the driving video. Anyway, hope you like it. Okay, quick video of start up and idling and a bit of engine view um, of this T2. All ignition light come up as they should. Starts nicely. And up here we've got, uh, up above here, we've got oil pressure gauges and stuff, an oil temperature gauge. Uh, it's very hot at the moment, so oil pressure is as low as it should be, should we say. But I don't think the temperature gauge works, the oil temperature gauge. I've never seen it actually working. Voltmeter as well. Anyway, that's... Um, have a look under the uh, under the engine cover. Yep, doing what it should. Import engine. Didn't make any funny noises? I'd say it's been totally dependable. Okay, let's take this uh, lovely 1965 VW T2 split screen for a spin. Showing 96,000 miles. I've done a lot of miles in this since we took it in part exchange about six months ago because my wife and I absolutely love it. Um, but as I've said to her, I am a car dealer, so um, everything's up for sale, shall we say. But um, it's been brilliant, totally dependable. Just gets on with the job and attracts some um, positive comments everywhere it goes. Anyway, let's fire it up. All light ignition light common as they should. Starts smartly whether it's hot or cold this one. This one's actually an original 12 volt rather than a 6 volt model. Um, so yeah, starts nicely, no problems. And break off. And off we go. Now you will find you'll get a bit of rattling because where the camera's mounted, it's mounted on one of the rear side windows that opens up, and it is the weight of the camera is making the um, making the window rattle slightly. So forgive me for that. So there will be some rattles anyway, given what it is. But uh, it's a lot of fun. No signs of any misfiring, hesitancy, or overheating. It just gets on with the job. been lowered at the front and it's got the IRS conversion on the back of it um, but having said that it does ride really quite well for what it is but uh, going back to the the engine absolutely really strong motor on it goes nicely gearbox is good as well no jumping out of gear or anything It's also got disc brake conversion on the front and we've just had the, uh, the rear drums rebuilt with new shoes and what have you, but even so, braking performance certainly isn't up to a modern uh, T6 or anything like that. We do have to plan, plan ahead a little bit. Very, very bumpy road this and it, um, it copes with it should we say, I'm not saying it's gliding over the, over the bumps, but it copes quite happily. nicely I mean I've had it at sort of uh, up to 70 miles an hour and yes it's fair to say the steering does wander slightly at that sort of speed but um, with the narrow front axle and stuff it's hardly surprising but um, you know we're doing 40 here and it's quite happy something about
have got a much better modern radio CD, CD system fitted just out of sight of the camera where my hand is, uh, which is quite powerful actually. Absolutely spot on. So, I think there we have it. Hope you enjoyed it.